hi everyone uh so framer does really beautiful websites and we cannot deny that the choice of colors the little detailing everything is top notch so for this tutorial for the toggle switch interaction that we're doing today let's just pick up an example from framer's website itself let's head over to framer's pricing page in the pricing page we notice two major interactions that is the toggle switch interaction and the infinite scroll interaction in this particular tutorial we are focusing on the toggle switch but stay tuned we'll do the infinite scroll interaction next for the purpose of this tutorial i replicated the framer's pricing pages design on framer stack by stack pixel by pixel so we can completely replicate what we are seeing on the live website now let's look at the toggle switch button that we have to work on but before we add the interactions let's look at the live website and see what exactly is happening as you can see on the disabled state there's a hover interaction on which the opacity of annual discount is changing but that doesn't happen in the active state so let's go back to our design and see what we have to do here so let's just select the stack which contains the toggle switch and the text and click on create component i'm going to call it toggle switch so inside the components we have variant one now we'll add another variant and we'll make it the active state for which we'll have to edit it slightly let's just do that we'll take the toggle switch adjust it and change the color from gray to the accent blue that we have just like that disable state we'll have to reduce the opacity a little bit why you remember the slight difference there exactly why so we'll do that and then because that was our primary component it has also changed the properties of variant 2 so we'll have to go back and ensure that our active state has 100% opacity so that is done we have both our states ready now let's just add the hover state let's go ahead and select hover in the hover state what we'll do is we'll just change the opacity and bring it up to 100% similar to our active state coming back now we'll have to add the interactions from variant 1 to variant 2 we'll add the tap interaction and again we won't need any delay here so again we'll go back add go from variant 2 to variant 1 and again add the tap interaction we can also change the effects here the transition effect we can go from spring to instant in this case for example you can select what you like so let's just turn off the transition and go back to the home page and play the desktop screen right here and uh, well the interaction is working for sure but it seems a little abrupt comparing to the live website where it seems very smooth and seamless so let's just go back and edit the component to achieve that seamless effect we'll go to the transition and change it to ease instead of instant i'm going to do ease in here and just cross that out and just gonna go to the website and look at it again well this works better than before for sure um yeah cool so it works and it's smoother but the price in the cards are not changing like how it is in the live website so let's just fix that now we'll have to create the entire uh, stack where the toggle switch is being linked to the price cards so we're going to take that and create a component uh, let's just name it toggle so here i have the primary variant which is the deactivated state let's just create another variant right here so now that we have another variant we'll make sure that this is the active one so i'm going to change that to variant 2 the one that we had created already so that is my variant 2 done now we'll all we have to do is we'll have to just update the price here so now that it's a discounted price we just have to reduce it so let's just do that quickly and make sure it is similar to the live website that's done um and now we will just quickly make sure that we add the interactions so we'll just on top of the button it will take you to variant 2 and similarly we'll add the interaction to the toggle switch in variant 2 and link it to variant 1 so the tap interaction is that is that simple to add and we'll go to the desktop screen and see if it's working 
well the hover is intact so that is working and the button is also working so let's just go back um we can always make the default state to be the discounted state so let's just do that now when you play it you'll see the discount state active a toggle switch is on and that's it that's pretty much it for this video i hope you like it thank you so much for watching see you next time